So as you remember last time, guys, I showed you the new battery system that I got for the bus, uh, which came from a Nissan Leaf and a 10 power cells of uh, lithium-ion batteries. And now we're going to put those babies to the test and see what they do. Come along. Okay, so now, guys, we're going to have a little uh, test here. You know, uh, put our money where our batteries are. In other words, we're going to plug some appliances in and uh, see what kind of voltage or what kind of amps they draw. And you go get a better idea of what, you know, what things the system can handle. Okay, now keep in mind, guys, that this battery bank here, which is, once again, the 10 cells or the 10 uh, separate batteries linked together, is exactly, if not a little bit more powerful than four AGM batteries run together. That's four big ones, which would take up probably twice, if not three times, the same amount of space, which is really important. And that's why we want that, you know, this style of lithium battery for the RV, because we don't have a lot of space in our RV. Okay, so now you guys can see that this thing is on search mode, and we're not drawing any amps whatsoever. And we're going to plug in a power drill here and see what kind of amps that runs. And this, this is what we're going to be using. The Craftsman Monster Power Drill. There's a line to show you that it's not one of those fancy uh, self-efficient battery running ones. And I'm going to put this camera right on the meter and we're going to pull the trigger and we're going to see what happens. So we... Constant running at 16 amps for this power drill. That's bad boy right here. Look at that. And the voltage isn't even moving. <laughs> so we're going to do something crazy. We're going to plug in a freezer here and see what this bad boy does. Check this out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Chest freezer, guys. That's got to be a big draw. Can't wait to see what those little batteries do to this bad boy. Oh, well, you know what? I was informed that running just a freezer was not nearly as crazy enough as it should be. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to plug in a 60-inch flat-screen TV <laughs> and the freezer at the same time and test these batteries outright. But you're asking, <clears throat> but you're asking Keith, how does this work? Well, let me show you. We're going to reach on here and see the setup button right there. We're going to hit that. Searching for watts, we're going to take this dial here, and we're going to hit that down, and spin it all the way down to that, and then we'll push it again, and our inverter is now, look at that, constantly running, just like it was your house. This is a 65-inch flat screen TV, and... Uh, She's being run, oh, by this mad power system. So, it's powering up, as you can see. Uh, we're not going to show any programming because we don't want to get flagged. Um, but, as you can see, the TV is running, and there's the menu. Blah, blah, blah. And she's ready to go, running the TV. All right. So, right now, the TV is pulling 11 amps from the batteries. Just 11 amps for that big, big TV. I might have to rethink my home theater, Johnny. Now, now it's on to the chest freezer. The most hated appliance in every house as far as amperage draw is concerned. This is, you know, right up there with your water heater and power consumption. And as you can see, the green light, she is good to go. She is running off this battery system. We're going to crank that up like a rock star all the way to maximum power. And still, we got that going on. Blah, 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 blah. We got that going on in there. All of that. All of that. There's our battery bank. Run back up to the system here. Oh, wow. Beautiful work. Uh, the freezer and the TV running. And we're not looking at the amps right now. We're looking at the voltage. And there is no power sag in this system with those two heavy appliances running. I think this is going to work really good in my bus. Okay, so that wasn't enough testing. So we plugged in a dehydrator or a dehumidifier, actually. And we're going to run that bad boy and see if anything changes with that. Now, I can hear it running. 
and it's running off the system and we're still at 11 amps 15 volts holding steady draw from the batteries incredible okay so that wasn't enough to play with us so i mean you just see it's starting to drop down to uh 14.9 volts here but we're going to plug in another device just to see what we can do uh, now we're drawing a total of 41 amps with the TV, with the dehumidifier, with the chest freezer, and now a hair dryer. All of that. And we're pulling out 38 amps. Batteries hanging at 14.9 volts. So that's crazy. That's the kind of power you want if you're going to watch limitless, limitless television in your place, you know, while you surf the internet. Enjoy your cold drinks from the uh, miniature fridge that you're going to put in there. And sit back and drink a few scotches in the middle of the night while all your colored LED lights are making your room relaxing and comforting. And that's what we're getting in my place. So that's why I'm spending this money. It's money well spent because, like I said, I'm buying a house, not just a bus. You know, you're like, Keith, my God. You just bought a bus and you're going to just dump like six or seven grand into the solar power system. And that is huge, expensive, huge, expensive. And, and you know, you don't have to start that big, guys. You really don't. You could start out with like two modules or, you know, two AGM batteries running at $300 a piece. So $700 for two AGM batteries and a couple hundred watt panels with a charge controller and inverter. And really get started on your vehicle-based power um, you know, for under 1200 bucks, right around that price range, you know. Or you can actually go and buy what's called a Jackery power inverter, and it's a little battery bank, and they sell them, and then I guess they're really good, you know, if you're just in your van and you don't have money for panels to begin with, you know, go out and get yourself a Jackery. And uh, you can charge that by plugging it into a wall anywhere, um, and then you plug your stuff into that. And I know guys who run their entire van lighting system, and power system off with like two Jackery batteries, and uh, those are good too. But we're going uh, high tech in my place, you know, home theater, obviously, surround sound, Bose speakers, um, video projection. I want to run a regular TV, a microwave, um, a mini fridge with a freezer in it because I like ice cream and cold drinks. And you know, just because I live in my bus doesn't mean I have to be roughing it. Um, and basically, once again, my goal in bus life is for people to go, what, you live in a bus? And then when I take them in and I show them the luxuries and how nice it is on the inside with my queen-size bed and my full stand-up shower, Japanese-themed bathroom, and my home theater, uh, plus my kitchen, they're going to go, I don't feel sorry for you. This is better than my place. <laughs> now you see my madness. People are like, how could you possibly live in a bus? And I'm like, when I do it up like Embassy Suites on the inside, that's how I can do it in a bus. Okay, guys, so if that wasn't madness enough, I've just been informed by Grillmeister Dave that we should plug his solar panels into my battery charging system and see what we can do with that. Huh? Let's plug them in and find out. Okay, so we plug these bad boys into Dave's panels, which are like, monumentally much huger than mine are going to be um, and we're bringing in 62.2 volts at 49.1 amps charging the batteries charging the batteries these bad boys up here so there's power going in well we're still running those other items that we talked about earlier um, because this is only drawing 23 amps at 16 or 14.6 volts so, you know, that's the difference. Bring in 49 versus 23. Big difference. Half that charge is going into the battery system. The other half is, yes, powering the TV and the freezer and everything else. Awesome. So what do you guys think? Uh, thanks for dropping by and seeing the video, the update video to my new uh, 10 bank battery system uh, from a Nissan Leaf. Uh, you know, electric car, hey, power is the way to go. It's like uh, twice the power and half the size. It doesn't weigh any less, though, let me tell you. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe down there. It'll help me grow the channel and all the other neat stuff. 
and thanks so much for your time and watching my videos. I love you guys. Uh, this is why I do this, is to keep you guys in touch so that if you ever decide to spring out in the van life or buy yourself a box truck or a shuttle bus and just do something different than the rest of the world, you got some ideas on where to go and some uh, good tips on how to do it fairly inexpensively. Or, in the case of my battery system, not so inexpensively. But, you know, you can make whatever it is you will. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Until next time, fight the good fight. Love you. Bye.